Hello guys and welcome to Fuse TV and the Mancunian. We are joined by the Hara up in Manchester Academy 3. Do you guys want to introduce yourself real quickly? Hello, yeah. Um, I am Josh, but I, I also go by Joshua as well. Yeah, I go Jack. That's because it's my name. <laughs> my name's Zach, but I also go by Joshua as well. I was just saying these mics feel really nice, like a... Like a Nice dildo. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I mean, the highest of quality here at Fuse TV. Uh, yeah. You guys are the Hara, right? Yeah. Do you guys want to? Yeah, you guys, yeah. Yeah. You, do you want to talk to us about why you are here? What, what, we, what are we talking about today? I get confused. That's a really good question. Every morning I wake up, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Got no money. Why are we here? Got no money. I live at home with my parents. No money. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess it's just something to do, man. Yeah. I mean, I, it's pretty fun, something to do, right? We're chasing dreams out here, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's going well. You've played Download last year. You've got 2,000 Trees coming up this year. Yeah. Download again, but full size this yeah. time. A bunch of cool stuff. But we are here in Manchester Academy 3, which will be one of the venues you hit on your We All Wear Black tour, right? That's right. And nice. To, of the seat, to tour the EP of the same name as well, right? That's right. Cool, cool. So what's it like playing in Manchester Academy 3? Because I know you guys have played here before. Sending out a headline tour now. It's it's good. It's a it's it's a nicely made stage. Like a lot of the venues we've done before, you know, stages sometimes not that great. Whereas it's nice and high, it's nice and depthful. Deep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> depthful. Um, and it's just look at it. It's a great. It's aesthetically pleasing, I'd say. Yeah. And it, it sounds great. It is good fun. It is good fun. I mean, I've been to plenty of gigs here. And it is a wonderful atmosphere, so I'm sure you guys will kill it on the night. Thank you. This is coming straight off of your live show at Satan's Hollow, which I want to talk about a little bit. We'll dive into that. Well, first of all, it's a round venue gig. You're in the middle of a circle, yeah. and you've got a drummer, a guitarist, and a front man all pointing in different directions. What's that like playing live? It was, it was all right on the on the day live. It was. I think the hardest part was getting the sound right, getting everything working. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we had to get. Uh, we had to hire in a new wine array um so we could have 360 directional sound as opposed to it just pointing one way um when we first sound checked where you seen i was kind of facing this way all the sound was going that way so it was kind of yeah it was bukaki um so you couldn't really get any of that low end but then we figured it out and it was fine after that it pretty much once we'd got the sound right which was quite quick it was just a case of getting the fans through the door, and which was easy. Through. They all came through, yeah, and it was pretty mad. I was there. It was absolutely wonderful. It's a, an excellent venue. How would you describe the gig in uh, one word? In one word? Oh, I'd like to say hectic, ah, nice. but in a good way. All right, cool. Because, so if you don't know, uh, Satan's Hollow is a rock club in Manchester, um, very local to the university where we are now. And in the corner is a massive statue of Satan that holds up the DJ decks. In yeah, the middle. eyes flash as well. Yeah, ridiculous, cool. ridiculous. I don't know who put that in, but it is very, very cool. And the boys played their gig in the round in the middle, uh, which was really, really cool. And you were climbing all over the walls, all over the ceiling. I mean... Oh, I do not recommend to touch them walls or the <laughs> ceiling. It is, it is sweaty, good wash. No, sticky, sticky. Uh, yeah, you can't... The floor, it's the <laughs> stickiest floor the in stickiest the world. Floor. Oh, my God. I wonder what is on that floor. I've never been in there sober. Neither have I. So when I went in there, to, like when we went in to, to set it up, and I saw it in the, the cold light of day, when I was a bit shocked. It's just, it's just yeah. dust from it, and like however long it's been there. But that's part of the charm, yeah. you know. It that's is. it. It was a, a ridiculous show, and you filmed a live DVD there that's hopefully going to be released sometime this year. This year, yeah. yeah. Summer, yeah. winter, sometime. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled out for that. And if you're watching me on one of these cameras, keep an eye out for me as well, because I was in the crowd, vibing, yeah. getting in trouble with the security guard. So you guards. were on Jack's side, right? With yes, the I was behind the drummer. Cool. You might actually catch me getting told off by a security guard for putting my friend on my shoulders, which was... Yeah. I've never been tackled so fast in my life. Really? She, wasn't, he, even all the, she wasn't even all the way up on my shoulders. He like, literally picked her up and took her down. I was Bloody like, hell. Well, talk to me about the new single then, if we're, we're on the topic of kind of music. New track, Domino. Do you want to talk me through some of the lyrics, some of the different themes in that track? I mean, it's one of the biggest. I can see it being played on a festival stage really, really easily. Is that kind of what you were aiming for when you had it mixed and mastered? Or yeah, just I, I think, something uh, came of it? I think, yeah, like the, the chorus with the... Oh, 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 um, you know, 
can imagine that on a festival stage, everyone in the audience when they're back up, back up, their drums coming in, it's like, ah, like euphoric feeling. Um, so for sure, definitely saw that when writing it. Uh, Come and pay respects now. I'm lying and I suffer for a coffee. Um, yeah, we've kind of done a little theme on this EP yeah. unintentionally, which is death. Okay. But not in like not not in like the actual way of just dying. Yeah. Like the metaphorical meaning of death, like whether that be, you know, killing the self you thought you were to become a better version of yourself, yeah. or letting out the demons, black soul ceremony, yeah. or um. I'll be the fool, yeah. I'll be the thief, you know, becoming somewhat better. Or I'm going to die in the city tonight. Die in the city. Yeah. Or lying in the sea through coffin. Coffin. Or we all were black. I'm at a funeral. It's all very um, death-related. All thought through. Which it's is, prog. yeah, it's yeah. prog, man. Prog. It's cool. <laughs> so that was nice. But, yeah, it's all about the brain, man. Looking after your brain and just, it's going to be all right. Excellent stuff. You should check out the new single if you haven't from listening to the interview. I'm sure we'll be playing snippets of it throughout. Um, but as part of that, you've got this new tour, this new EP. I want to touch on the first time that I saw you, which was at Download Pilot last year. 10,000 people, the first time we were coming out of um, lockdown. You had, I think, one of the most iconic moments you have as a band with the whole dress situation. Yeah, the viral dress. Are we going to get another a vinyl dress moment next summer? The three million dress. Yeah. I'm going to have to upgrade, aren't I? Yeah. I'm going to have to do some it. Possibly naked. Yeah. Red maybe I could, just, I could just paint my willy, maybe. We have <laughs> spoke about the download show and, like, what we can do to make it even more iconic. We have got an idea. Time. We do have an idea. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You, ha you have an idea. Nothing that we can touch on yet, but you've got an idea. Well, keep your eyes peeled for that, yeah. you know. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, just to, to kind of backtrack, you had a, a whole vinyl dress on that didn't quite work out. There was somewhat of a wardrobe malfunction and you ended up finishing the set. Well, no, it wasn't underwear. even that. I was, it was just a bit, t I, I was, you know, finished the song, I was like, it's a bit tight and then that kind of spurred on the crowd to go, take it off, yeah. take it off, <laughs> take it off. And so, got to give the people what they want. Yeah. So I did, took it off. Amazing. And it's one of the most iconic moments of the band. I mean, you can see it on all of your socials and things like that. Um, that's, that's all we're known for. <laughs> no, no, not it's music, not at all. Not, not at the EP. All. We touched Josh on the music, dress. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So, kind of talk me through what you're thinking going into this next tour. In terms of this will be the first one now that, not necessarily not the first tour straight out after COVID, but the ones now that there's sort of some semblance of people kind of returning to normality a bit more afterwards. Uh, are you doing longer shows? What can we expect to see from the live performance, perhaps in here as well? I think we obviously with each tour we always have new music which is obviously means the set is always going to be bigger and better and new um, Satan's was really the first time we'd ex experimented with a full lighting show yeah. so we had all the lights in the middle and all around us so I think that's something that we're going to be focusing on, focusing on a lot more with this next tour is getting the lights fucking booming yeah. um, but you know it, we're very poor okay there's only so much <laughs> we can do at this stage in yeah. our career yeah. until we're playing a thousand cap, which is actually a goal for this year. Nice. I should mention that on our goal list for 2022, sell out a thousand cap venue. Nice. So that's, that's what Anywhere we're particular in mind for that? I mean like Academy 2, Academy 1 here. Yeah. 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 yeah, Ritz would be really, really cool. Definitely. I, I'm not sure I could see you playing the Ritz without one of you jumping off the balcony though. Yeah, I'm not sure health and safety will allow that. Um, amazing stuff though. So in terms of that, kind of you mentioned these these goals that you have for this year. What what's next for you guys? Like what do you see happening? Obviously, we know the tour's coming up. We've got this EP to release. Festivals this summer. Anything in particular that you see that you want to do? Anyone you maybe want to work with, or anyone you'd like to tour with, or support, or maybe have support you? A lot of questions. I know. I, know. <laughs> I think. I mean, so we're on our this SU tour right now. Mm -hmm. So that's all of February, and I think. We just we we've got two months to to promote and sell yeah. the tour uh, and the EP. We all wear black. So amongst the uh, SU networking, we're going to be doing. I think obviously a support tour would be amazing. Mm, that's the dream. That would be yeah, that's the dream. And I mean, who who are we saying? Who are we saying, boys? Oh, oh uh, I mean, there's there's, the there's a few. Yeah, there's uh, a few. Muse. Yeah, Muse, My Chem, Chem Biscuit. This, yeah, so many, so many. Um, just, yeah, just trying to throw it all into a pot, you know. Yeah. Mama's home cooking style, yeah. 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 Uncle Ben's fried <laughs> rice kind of thing, <laughs> you know. Was, One minute in the microwave, how mental is that, man? I know. What a time a to be meal. alive. A whole Straight meal. Away, yeah. It's crazy. Who knows how... Microwaves blow my mind. Yeah. 
in it. It's I, radiation, man. Yeah. Radiation. Oh, One and a half minutes spicy Mexican rice. Oh. With a bit of tuna in there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that, that nice. Is a bit is of that cheese. Is that a tour snack that keeps you going day to day? Every day snack. It's yeah. the, the amount of protein, carbs, and low fats in that meal is amazing. Macro heaven. You heard it here first. Yeah. Gym heads. Get on it. The spicy <laughs> we Mexican are, rice. We're gym heads. Yeah. <laughs> we're not actually a band. We're yeah. just in a band to look good. And we're actually gym heads. Amazing. That's what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> so... You mentioned kind of all the different stuff with the tour and things like that. One of the things I wanted to touch about, honestly, that obviously touches a lot of the music that I cover and a lot of the music that's similar to you is uh, festivals like When We Were Young. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys have yeah. seen this uh, coming up in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just want to ask you real quick, if you were at When We Were Young, who's the, who's the three bands that you'd go and see? Like, um, most importantly, because obviously there's like 60 friend. bands. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Bring Me. Yeah. I'd love to see Bring Me. Yeah. And then... I mean, I feel like I'd probably have to see. Par- I'd see. I'd want to watch Paramore anyway. Yeah. But a day to remember, I think it was. Oh yeah, I'd great, great yeah. band. Yeah. 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 I want to see Palais Royale. Oh, I've heard they're pretty good live. No effect. I think they were. Yeah. Love to see them. Um, and I, that's it. That's all I can remember. Who's on the? There's, there's a lot of people <laughs> on that. There's so many. Is it real? Right? That's the question, no, really, yeah. isn't it? Everyone thinks it's going to be the emo fire fest. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. Well, Is it real? I don't well, know. you said something about the amount of stages and the amount of acts. It'd be yeah. impossible yeah. for unless they all had like five minute sets. Festival, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they've now done day, two mm. day fests, but it's the same bands all day. And mm. the only thing I can think as someone who's run gigs before is they're going to have three stages with revolving stages. And you're going to have to sound check while the other band are playing, and that yeah. sounds like a logistical nightmare. I, well, you say that. Oh, we uh, we did that at, at download and that. Yeah. We, it was th- I think that's quite that's with the revolving cool. stage. Yeah. yeah. But even so, for that line, that's so many bands. Yeah, 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 a lot. yeah who knows? And you've got to get the sound right if you're doing it for My Chemical Romance, don't yeah. you? Can you imagine? That's true. Are you guys planning on maybe seeing them at the Milton Keynes tour whenever that eventually does happen? Aye, we've all, we're, all, we're already on the Augusti, you know. Oh, nice. we got we got our contacts. So, yeah, yes. that's definitely on the cards. I think we're going to try and go to the Warrington one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, just outside the scene. Yeah. 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 That would be amazing. Yeah, so. Probably sold out, but get your tickets if not. And if you're a fan of My Chemical Romance, you'll be a fan of the Hara, so you should definitely check that out. Um, kind of just kind of finishing up for the last kind of few minutes just want to touch on maybe I know you mentioned the kind of different bands you'd want to work with could you ever imagine getting you know, Ollie Sykes or someone on a track with the Hara and if you did if you wrote a song with Ollie Sykes what would it be about in your brain right now Bouncers Bouncers <laughs> Ollie Sykes' take on Bouncers yeah. I reckon he might have similar views I reckon he's probably had yeah. a few yeah. similar experiences uh, yeah it'd be dead cool to work with him yeah. I think he's he's a cool one yeah, I think I'll be sick with Ollie Sykes. Yeah. He makes his rounds, doesn't he? Not he does. He's like young blood, he's baby metal, do, yeah. all sorts. He's definitely trying to cast his uh, net out a bit wide to appeal to... Um, yeah. more, uh, Maybe that's more less audience. reason to work with him, though. If he's just mm. working with anyone, are we even special? Oh, well, then they go. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, this is, they, these Maybe are the questions. fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this, Ollie Sykes beef is yeah. more Let's what we should beef. be aiming for. Okay. I mean, that always sells, you know? You want to get in the news. What was it? Ronnie Radke, who just uh, insulted people to, to promote his new tour. Yeah, Americanized. It works. Maybe man. this is what happened. Yeah. Just uh, uh, announce a fake boxing match like Don Broca did when yeah, they announced yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they Uber. They did the whole boxing match yeah. that turned out to be a music video. Polarize the people. Yeah. You get haters, you get lovers. And that's how you make it. Amazing stuff. And then just to finish off, our last kind of thing. From each of you, um, what has been your favorite moment from the last year? kind of since COVID in terms of playing live and as a band mm-hmm. whether it be a specific release or one live show or <coughs> anything or maybe just something a fan said who knows definitely one of the festivals either download or really love Slam Dunk yeah. one of my favourite festivals just like we have a song called Friends yeah. and the reaction that got at the festivals was Huge. insane like as soon as it started the whole crowd is like duh, 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 and it's that, that feeling is crazy just to yeah. see that yeah um I think Leeds, Leeds festivals were when we opened up the main stage Leeds. It was also on my birthday that day as well. Wow. So, yeah, we did a Reading and Leeds weekend, Reading Saturday, Leeds Sunday. And uh, we, we, everybody, crew, band, just had a bit of a, had a, bit of a blowout Good. after our show. So it was nice to fully enjoy the last day of the festival. And, uh, yeah, it was, I got very, very drunk. Yeah. So it was great. That's to be expensive if you play Reading and Leeds, you know. Uh, yeah, I'd say same as Josh. I think like, I think more so the reaction on the other festivals to from download. Um, I think download was hard to beat, and then 
going to other festivals we was a bit like oh will this crowd get it will these will these understand um what we're about and uh especially like slam dunk we were saying yesterday as well <clears throat> like bands before us and bands on our stage was getting a couple of hundred people that looked looked decent and then we went out and it was just flooded all the way back to like like the very back of our field and it was just like and the same as what um <clears throat> zach said as well and, and like people know in these like our chants and and the songs where and at the same as download where you'd go out and we was like oh i wonder if anyone will know anything i wonder if they'll just they'll literally just be listening and it'll be a weird vibe but they all knew the the songs and them singing it back where we, where we was a bit like oh my days this is a whole new world and yeah it was good it was a memorable year and then the tour was sick as well all sold out and mental amazing stuff well thank you ever so much for joining us i've been your host reese ritchie the music editor of the mancunian this has been fuse tv with the hara make sure you check out the tour the new ep everything to do with the boys check out the socials as well just check us out yeah 100%. thank you so much guys